This is Optimal Living Daily, episode 110. Don't want to exercise? Use the Braveheart Technique by Steve Cam of nerdfitness.com. Get ready to maximize your potential with Optimal Living Daily, the podcast that brings you the best in personal development and productivity every day of the week. Your optimal life awaits. Now here's your host, Justin Mollick. Hello, old friends. This is OLD, or Optimal Living Daily, and I'm Justin Mollick, here again with another edition of Wellness Wednesday with Nerd Fitness, which has a ton of info on exercises, motivation, and more. And today's post is about motivation, using the movie Braveheart as an example, which is a great movie, by the way, although very brutal and not recommended for children. I actually think I saw it when I was 13 years old, though. Uh, But anyway, hopefully this Braveheart reference can help you if you struggle with the motivation to exercise. And speaking of motivation, if you'd like to motivate me to keep this podcast going, you can help by contributing any amount you like over at oldpodcast.com. I'd be extremely grateful, and even a little bit goes a long way, so if you're in the position to do it, come by oldpodcast.com. And while you're there, I'd recommend joining my weekly newsletter, because in just two days, I'm giving away a book by The Minimalists, to a lucky random subscriber. Plus, you get free gifts right off the bat. So to join, you can text the word OPTIMAL to 44222 or visit my site, oldpodcast.com. And that's it for the housekeeping. Let's jump right in and start optimizing your life. Don't want to exercise? Use the Braveheart Technique by Steve Cam of nerdfitness.com. We all have those moments when we don't feel like exercising. If you're a New Year's resolutioner, it tends to be right around this part of January. Some have already given up, while others didn't even bother starting. Not nerd fitness rebels, though. We know that when building habits, missing more than one day in a row is a recipe for disaster. This is why we follow through with our hard hat challenges and make sure we stay on target until the habit becomes automatic. But what do we do on those days when it seems like everything is working against us? It's really cold outside and we don't feel like running. We just got home from a long day of work and don't feel like doing the Star Wars workout. The alarm clock is going off, it's dark outside, and it's all warm and cozy in our beds. How do you get from that point of lethargy to exercising when you just don't feel like it? You know you should, you know it's good for you, and you know you need to, but you just struggle to put one foot in front of the other. Use the Braveheart Technique. What is the Braveheart technique? In Braveheart, one of my favorite movies ever, which also happens to have one of the best soundtracks and endings ever, William Wallace and his clan join their countrymen for a potential skirmish with the English. They're decked out in epic war paint, giant weapons on massive horses, and ready to cause mayhem. After Wallace delivers a speech that has the entire Scottish army going berserk, he saunters out to the middle of the battlefield to hear the, quote, negotiations from the English about a truce. Ultimately, he picks a fight, and the English are pissed, and a battle is imminent. Wallace's buddy, Hamish, looks at his friends and says, quote, Well, we didn't get dressed up for nothing, unquote. Although the line was uttered in jest, I've come to realize just how important that mindset can be when it comes to getting healthy, which is slightly less dangerous than picking a fight with a whole army. These guys put on war paint, sharpened their weapons, strapped on their best kilts, and rode all the way to the battlefield. They figured they went through all that effort, so they might as well do the thing they came to do. This brings me to the two points I'd like to make today. Number one, don't get dressed up for nothing. I interviewed NF Transformer Joe recently about how he's able to stay on target during his 10-month, 130-pound weight loss adventure. I asked him what he did on the days he didn't want to work out. He said, quote, I allowed myself to complain as loudly and angrily as possible, but I only let myself complain as I was putting on my workout gear. Then by the time I was done getting ready, I told myself, well, I'm already dressed up, might as well just do the damn workout, unquote. Not surprisingly, once he started the workout, he figured, well, might as well finish it. Little did Joe know that he was using the Braveheart technique, just without the war paint. Now, if you decide that putting on war paint gets you in the mood, go for it. I love being the weird one at the gym anyways. Number two, showing up counts. If you don't want to go to the gym, tell yourself that in order to build that habit, you just have to get in the car and drive. You only need to stay for one set of each exercise. That's it. If you have to, just go through the warm-up and cool down. But getting in the car and driving there counts. Walking to the gym counts. Doing just the first set of the beginner bodyweight workout counts. 
Showing up counts. Get your ass to that battlefield. Hike up your kilt, use your 20 seconds of courage, and start. Want to make these things even easier? Make step one as easy as possible. Go to sleep in your workout clothes. When you wake up, you'll be thinking, aw, crap, I'm already dressed to work out, might as well do it. Have your workout clothes packed in a bag by your front door before going to bed so you bring them with you to work, making it 100 times easier to go to the gym after work. And channel your inner Scottish rebel. Put on some epic Scottish Highland music, watch a video on nerdfitness.tv, and get after it. Just be careful when doing deep squats in a kilt. The other gym goers will appreciate it. Your turn. How do you pump yourself up and power through that initial, but I don't wanna moment? You just listened to the post titled, Don't Wanna Exercise? Use the Braveheart Technique by Steve Cam of nerdfitness.com. Hopefully you found that motivational and can use those tips to exercise more frequently. And once again, really quick, if you wanna help support this free reading service that I'm doing every day, you can contribute any amount you like over at oldpodcast.com and it'd really mean a lot to me. And you can join my free weekly newsletter while you're there. And if you sign up before tomorrow, you'll be entered to win a book. So definitely check that out at oldpodcast.com. Or you can also join by texting the word optimal to the number 44222. And that's it for Wellness Wednesday. I'll be back tomorrow with a post from David Kane of Raptitude. So I'll see you there where your optimal life awaits. Hey, this is Dan from the Optimal Finance Daily Podcast, which is a lot like this show, except more focused on personal finance. Justin handpicks the best posts he can find from blogs and authors like Ramit Sethi, Mr. Money Mustache, and more, and I read them to you five days a week. So if you enjoy this podcast, come on over and subscribe to Optimal Finance Daily too. And together, we'll optimize your financial life. You've been listening to Optimal Living Daily. Be sure to hit the subscribe button to stay up to date on each new episode and head to oldpodcast.com. That's oldpodcast.com for a free gift as well as more actionable tips and resources to help you maximize your potential. Thanks for joining us. And remember, your optimal life awaits.